This is my Luigi Cosi DVD collection. Luigi originally was a protege of Dario Argento. And back then, talking to people, they he had high expectations to be the next Dario Argento. Uh, he eventually did not become that, uh, but he, at the beginning of his career he was. He directed an episode of Dario Argento's TV series, Door in the Darkness, but his first film he ever directed was The Giallo, the killer must kill again. Um, the title is kind of blah for a giallo, but don't let that fool you. This is a fantastic film. Highly stylistic, really reminiscent of Dario Gento. Um, it's different than other giallos because um, the, you know who the killer is throughout the whole film. It doesn't leave it till the final act. But suspenseful, again, great plot. George Hilton is in it. Uh, fantastic DVD release from Mondo Macabro. A really amazing film. But soon after The Killer Must Kill Again, Luigi Cosi decided to direct some science fiction films. And I don't know what it is about the genre of science fiction, but uh, Italy never did it very well. And Luigi Cosi uh, made a, a, a Star Wars or even a Flash Gordon uh, uh, ripoff entitled Star Crash. And... Um, Roger Corman ended up picking it up to distribute in the United States. This is, uh, it's so bad, it's good. You you can't even tell it's the same director as The Killer Must Kill Again. That movie is so masterful, and then this one is so trashy. Just cheesy beyond belief, cheesy effects, cheesy storyline that borrows from 50 science fiction films. But, again, this movie has a huge cult following, and uh, deservedly so. I mean, I mean, the DVD cover I have... It's a reversible DVD cover, but, oh yeah, is that the uh, Millennium Falcon? Oh, jeez, I can't tell, but highly cheesy, <laughs> you know, can't, I, it's hard to believe it's the same director. Um, then after that, he made another science fiction film, but this one's a science fiction hybrid horror film. Uh, an alien ripoff called Contamination, uh, originally released in the United States as uh, Alien Contamination. Um, this movie isn't as silly as uh, Star Crash. But it's still very bad and uh, um, and very unintentionally funny. I find it insanely entertaining for this. The, a lot of the plot elements and the characters and the dialogue are all horrible, but how can a film with a score by Goblin and about eggs that pulse and make people explode into guts and blood It's not be a little good? I mean, it, I, I highly enjoyed this. This is great Italian trash here. Then Luigi Cosi uh, teamed up with uh, Canon Films, uh, producer Golan Globus, um, to make uh, two Hercules films. Now, the peplum genre uh, in Italy, uh, the, or the sword and sandal flicks like uh, the Steve Reeves Hercules films, died out in the early 60s uh, when, and when Spaghetti Westerns took over. But there was a resurgence of peplum films in the 80s thanks to uh, Conan the Barbarian and Clash of the Titans. And that gave birth to the 1983 Hercules remake of the original Italian film with Lou Ferrigno. But uh, Luigi Cosi is a huge science fiction fan, so of course he injects a lot of science fiction into the fantasy story. And the result is horrible. But one of the biggest guilty pleasures of my entire life me and my sister, at least once a year, plan uh, a movie marathon with these films. They are so fucking funny. Lou Ferrigno is so horribly dubbed. I mean, he does the most ridiculous things this, in these films. He fights a giant mechanical bee. He throws a bear into outer space. He throws a log into outer space. He grows giant to connect two continents. It is so bad, it's great. And it's hard to believe that the man responsible for these movies is the same guy that was responsible for this. Yes, the guy who was going to be the next Dario Gento ended up directing films like this. It's hard to believe. Um, again, I enjoy all of his movies, but I enjoy this much different for a much different reason than I enjoy movies like the Hercules films. He did direct uh, a few movies throughout the rest of the 80s, but overall he really didn't direct a whole film, a whole, a whole lot of films in his career, so I only own five of his movies on DVD, but he's definitely got one of the more interesting careers <laughs> of all the 
Italian directors out there. So, and that's my very small Luigi Cosi collection.